Hi, this is Linda Morris, and today I want to share with you what I consider the last diet I needed to learn. And it's an eating plan it actually developed by a group of doctors, a team of doctors, and it's what they teach their clients to help them release weight, to kind of give their, um, their body, their pancreas a vacation, and to uh, get to where they want to be health-wise. So I'm going to go through the plan pretty quickly. It's just the highlights. Um, a lot of the extra details, if you want to know more, just uh, let the person know that invited you to watch this video, and they can go into more depth. But I wanted to keep it shorter, and uh, that's hard to do. There's a lot of great slides. So I'm going to share my screen right now. And um, my name is Linda Morris, and actually I've been teaching this plan, I think, eight or nine years. And it's something that came about because a friend of mine had just turned 50. And she actually was a fitness instructor, a massage therapist. And she said, you know, since I've turned 50, my weight just keeps going up and up. Doesn't matter how many miles I run, how much I work out. I'm so careful in what I eat. I eat organic and I keep gaining weight. So something is off. So we were actually at a Zumba class and the doctor taught or actually sold this eating plan to our patients and my friend said well she said I need to have a buddy because you have four times the success if you do it with somebody because you're more likely to commit to somebody else to uh, to stay on the plan for seven days at a time than you are yourself so she's like I need a buddy will you do it with me so I said sure I will and I actually had to go in and see the doctor, and she uh, gave me the plan, gave me the sheet of paper. She sold me the food, which I was not thrilled with because it did contain, it was, it was soy-based and sucralose, which I do not like sucralose or Splenda type. Uh, it just, I don't like the taste of it. It's not for me. So, uh, but I, I followed the plan because I committed and I went in and I bought all the food. And um, actually, I noticed that in about, um, I did it for 10 days and I lost, I think it was like eight or nine pounds in 10 days. So I'm like, well, this is cool. This is working. I'm excited about that. And it's pretty, pretty easy. And so I just stuck with it until I reached my goal and I released 20 pounds and I've kept that off now for about eight or nine years. And it's a plan that I'm on a lot of the time. It's called, what we have is called phase one and phase two. And phase one is strict um, following the plan for seven days. And in the beginning, I didn't have a lot of options because I hadn't thought outside the box. So in the last eight or nine years, I've discovered a lot of new food, a lot of new um, ways of preparing food that I didn't know before, a lot of vegetables. I didn't know what they even tasted like. I now make soup out of all these root vegetables and life has become more of an adventure in food. And you know what? If I don't like it, I don't eat it. You take a bite, not worth it. So you, it, you know, everything we put in our mouth is a choice. So this is the eating plan. And once you've uh, met your, your goal, then we go on what's called phase two. There's still some things that like, you don't eat fruit first thing in the morning. It kind of fogs the brain and it sets up the day for cravings. And if I'm going to eat fruit, it's in the evening. I never put it in a shake. Actually, you're really not supposed to eat fruit with protein anyway. Your body has a hard time breaking it down. So I don't waste it by throwing it in a, a shake. I like, I love raspberries. It's my favorite fruit. I eat them one at a time and I really thoroughly enjoy them. So there's some things that we restrict when you're on phase one, but in phase two, you can add things on. And then if you start to see like, uh oh, I better get back on phase one, even for three or four days, then you're back on track. So I am going to start, I'm going to share my screen so you can actually see the eating plan. And here it is. So I am just going to walk through it. And this is called the Battle of the Bulge. Because it's true. You know, we do have a battle with the bulge. So I'm going to get this all set up. There we go. You know, part of the uh, part of what we really want is for uh, our clothes to fit, right? A lot of people talk about how uh, um, they're starting to breach the, the different sizes in their closet. 
And that's not a good thing. You, you, you want to be able to wear what you want to wear. You want to go there and just put clothes on and be able to walk out the door. You don't want to waste your time. So uh, we actually work with um, Kenzen Organic Based Weight Management. That's the name of the, the products that have really made it easy and it tastes good and it's healthy and it's organic. So anyway, regenerate, rebuild, prevent, and build. Cleanse, balance, fight inflammation, and more. Our disclaimer, we consult with a, a healthcare professional before starting any diet, exercise, supplementation, or medication program. Statements included herein regarding products and health conditions have not been eva evaluated by the US Food and Drug Administration and are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. If you have a health concern of any, any kind, consult with your healthcare professional. Be smart, common sense, right? The information presented is for educational purposes only, is not meant to substitute, substitute for the device of a doctor or other medical professional. This material is not put forth to make any medical claims or warranties. The information presented is general in nature and may not be for everyone. So hopefully we'll open some doors and uh, um, create some questions and possibility for you and uh, you can find out more. Manage the pounds. Every pound of fat that you gain produces seven miles of new blood vessels. Imagine what burden those few little extra pounds you joke about can put on your heart. So every pound, seven miles, this just blew me away. So if you are carrying around an extra 10 pounds, that's an extra 70 miles of blood that your heart has to pump every beat. That's a lot. If you're 100 pounds overweight, that's 700 miles. So no wonder your heart has so much stress when we're carrying around those extra pounds. On the positive side, every pound you lose results in a four pound reduction in knee joint load or knee pressure. If you lost 10 pounds, you could have a total of 48,000 less pounds of pressure for every mile walked. On the Vital Balance Eating Program, you will transform your body's ability to digest sugars properly by regulating your insulin level. Well, how? It's by giving your pancreas a well-deserved break, by cutting out simple and complex carbs until you've reached your weight loss goal. This is a real solution to these problems, not some yo-yo diet and certainly not diet pills to further mess up your metabolism. We looked for lasting results with real wholesome foods, teaching you key lessons and empower you to get results. On average, women lose weight at the rate of three to five pounds per week, and men, lucky men, four to seven pounds per week. So lesson number one, learn to live off of your body's own fat reserves. Your body gets its energy from three reserves, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The body first burns energy from its simple and complex carbohydrate reserves, and then when depleted, turns simultaneously to its protein and fat reserves for energy. Lesson number two, and this is a huge lesson. So take note, your body only stores three days worth of carbs. Because of this, the Vital Balance Diet has a phase one and phase two, which is a maintenance lifestyle. Until you reach 100% of your weight loss goal, we restrict all sugars from your diet even healthy fruits and those vegetables that have a high sugar content, such as corns, potatoes, beets, peas, carrots, and the like. So that lesson, three days worth of carbohydrates. So if you go to a party, a birthday party, um, you have a little bit of a carbohydrate festival one day, then you do not want to get on the scale for three days because it's not going to be good news because your body stores three days worth of carbohydrates. So um, you just get back on phase one. I, I do this if I've had too many carbohydrates or if, you know, been at a party or something uh, for a friend. I get back on phase one the next day for three days. And then on the fourth day, I might get on the scale. It's like, okay, we're all good. We're back to neutral again. We're back where we want to be. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's why we do not have a cheat day in these seven days. You stay on it until you've reached your weight loss goal because that would, that would be the yo-yo thing. We don't want that yo-yo thing. So four grams of carbohydrates is equal to one teaspoon of sugar. So if you pull out a label of, like I have a, in my hand old-fashioned oatmeal, and if you look at the label and you see how much sugar in it is in it, it says zero grams of carbs. 
Now the total carbohydrates for one cup is 54 grams of carbs. So you take that 54, you divide it by four, and that gives you 13 and a half teaspoons of sugar is in that one cup of oatmeal that says there's zero sugar in it because that's how your body interprets that. As long as sugar is entering your system, you're not burning fat. It's as simple as that. Remember, your body first takes its energy from your carb reserves. The idea is to deplete your carb reserves completely in order to get your body to turn to its fat to burn those calories. When you put too many grams of carbs into your system, your pancreas senses danger, zeroes out the danger with insulin, your body realizes it has no more sugar, thus craves more sugar, you eat more carbohydrates, too many actually, and the vicious cycle is on and repeating. So I took some things out of my cupboard and I'm like, okay, let's just kind of make a day, an eating day out of this, an eating plan essentially. And let's look at all of the labels on these. I read labels for everything. I even read labels for my cat's food just to see what's in it because we are what we eat. So let's start off with a typical American healthy breakfast. Remembering one teaspoon of sugar is equal to four grams of carbohydrates. So an eight ounce glass of orange juice is equal to 26 grams of carbs at six and a half teaspoons of sugar. That's how you start off your day. And in the morning, your, body, your, your cells in your body are like, oh yes, I get to eat. Yay, I've been fasting all night. I now get to have food. So your, your cells are very happy that, oh good, here comes the food. Here comes the energy for my day. So then we have one cup of oatmeal. As I said, it's 54 grams of carbs. 13 and a half teaspoons of sugar, that's, which is actually four and a half tablespoons. And so I actually started pre, I, I did this before with the tablespoons, just so you, could, guys, you guys can have a visual what this is gonna look like. And then I put an eighth of a cup of raisins on. That's 15 grams of carbs, which is a, a little less than four teaspoons of sugar. Then you sprinkle that two teaspoons of brown sugar on top because, well, that's how my dad did it. That's eight grams of carbs, two teaspoons of sugar, is actually two teaspoons of sugar. One piece of whole grain toast. Now this is kind of surprising. It's 44 grams of carbs for whole grain toast. That's 11 teaspoons of sugar, and that's without jelly and jam. This breakfast total is 147 grams of carbs, which is just under 37 teaspoons of sugar. So when you look at that, that's all, we didn't add anything but two teaspoons of sugar. But that's what that equals. That's how your body is interpreting that breakfast. Pretty much of carbohydrates. Just starting off with good old fashioned oatmeal. When we're looking to reduce our weight, limiting our carbs to as low as possible is necessary to burn fat. Say 30 to 50 grams of carbs a day. And you really wanna keep under 30 unless you do have some medical issues. You wanna keep it under 30 grams of carbs a day. But you can, you know, check check that out with your doctor, and you can even bring the plan into them if uh, if you do have a medical concern. So that's about seven to twelve teaspoons of sugar in the entire day is all we need, and that should be from vegetable sources. So moving on to the next slide, we're going to go to lunch. A healthy American, or actually North America, Central America, or South American lunch. Black beans and rice. Two cups of black beans is equal to two, 248 grams of carbs. So I actually pulled out the label. You look at the label, you know, and it tells you, it tells you what's happening. Two cups of black beans is 248 grams of carbs. Now, I had always been told, if you want to lose weight, you do not eat black beans. Well, what they did not do is show me what that would look like in sugar. That's a better visual, isn't it? Well, you don't, if you want to lose weight, don't eat black beans. If you don't want to eat, if you don't want to lose weight, eat black beans. Otherwise, this is what's happening. 62 teaspoons of sugar and two cups of black beans. One cup of brown rice is 66 grams of carbs. That's the part most people think would be the bad part. 16 and a half teaspoons of sugar. And yes, black beans, they do have some great nutrients in it. They do have fiber, but 
it's only eight grams of fiber. Uh, Cuban bread, one half of a loaf is 112 grams of carbs. That's 28 teaspoons of sugar. You know that great, yummy, warm, buttery Cuban bread that they have in, I live in St. Petersburg, so in the Tampa Bay area, we have a lot of Cuban bread and it, you can't actually, you can't help but eat the whole loaf because it's warm, it's buttery, it's crispy, it's decadent. And half a loaf is 28 teaspoons of sugar. So this lunch total is 426 grams of carbs. That's 106 teaspoons of sugar. Your pancreas is saying, danger, danger, danger. If you keep eating like this, you might have to go on medication to regulate your body. And we don't want to do that. Dinner, good old spaghetti and meatballs. So spaghetti pasta, whether it's regular or gluten-free, a quarter box is 46 grams of carbs. That's 11 and a half teaspoons of sugar. Spaghetti sauce made from tomato, which is a fruit, half a cup is 13 grams of carbs or three and a quarter teaspoons of sugar. Homemade meatballs without the breadcrumbs or the bread, to leave that out, is six grams of carbs, one and a half teaspoons of sugar. You can have as many of those as you want. Garlic bread, two small slices, 42 grams of carbs, nine and a half teaspoons of sugar. Two glasses of wine, because sometimes you want to have a little fun. 42 grams of carbs is nine and a half teaspoons of sugar. And one slice of plain cheesecake, not the turtle cheesecake or the chocolate. This is just plain cheesecake. 33 grams of carbs, eight and a quarter teaspoons of sugar. So for this tasty meal, that's 182 grams of carbs and 45 and a half teaspoons of sugar. And that is what this looks like. So the only sugar we really had was in the cheesecake and that was mostly cheese. So we're gonna go to the next slide and we're gonna recap. Breakfast, and we didn't have any snacks. We didn't have uh, any uh, sodas. This is just basic three meals. Breakfast was 36 teaspoons of sugar. Lunch, 106. Dinner, 45. The total for the day was 188 teaspoons of sugar, which is four cups of sugar. So I'm just gonna pour these all together. So we had, uh, this was breakfast. Breakfast. And then we had the black beans and rice. And then we had the spaghetti. So look at all of that that we have happening. And for you, if when you have friends that just aren't getting it, or if you have children that aren't getting what happens with carbohydrates, when you look at this, it's like Holy cow, no wonder we're not losing weight. No, I'm not eating much. I just had, you know, a sandwich or whatever. So just pay attention and be aware of that. So, oh, are you not seeing my picture? Hmm, oh, you guys didn't see it. Okay, uh, let me stop sharing for a moment. Sorry about that. So I thought it was coming up on the screen because I could see it. So this is what it looks like. And I had all the other different cups that I had filled with sugar. So this is what that looks like. That meal, that day without any snacks or any sodas, just your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's a heavy cup. Okay, so let me go back to sharing my screen. Let's go back to the... Uh, Back to where we were. Thank you, Heather, for the update. Appreciate it. So limiting our carbs to as low as possible is necessary to burn fat. Like again, preferably less than 30 grams of carbs a day from vegetable sources, which is about 7 to 12 teaspoons of sugar a day. The primary purpose of insulin is to turn sugar into fat. That's its purpose. So let's move on. Oh, snacks and treats. I, it was requested, well, what would snacks and treats look like? A soda is 40 grams of carbs, 10 teaspoons of sugar. A candy bar, an average can, candy bar is 34 grams of carbs, eight and a half teaspoons of sugar. The goldfish cat, crackers, the little gold crackers, 28 grams of carbs, seven teaspoons of sugar. One cup of French fries, 59 grams of carbs, 
14 and a half teaspoons of sugar. A slice of apple pie is, and that would be the one I would choose, 56 grams of carbs, that's 14 teaspoons of sugar. Six Oreo cookies, only six, that's hard. You gotta have like the whole row practically if you're gonna open those. 12 and a half teaspoons of sugar. A half a cup of ice cream is 46 grams of carbs, 11 and a half teaspoons of sugar. Chocolate iced cake, 36 grams of carbs, nine teaspoons of sugar. Fruit yogurt, this is a hidden one most people don't realize. Read your, read your yogurt label. It can be anywhere from between 35 and 55 grams of carbs. And that is 13, you know, the 55 is 13, almost 14 teaspoons of sugar. One cup of chocolate milk, 50 grams of carbs, just in a cup of milk. Oh, I have a, um, a, another friend that I uh, ballroom dance with, and she said how she turns things down, a moment on the lips, forever on the hips. And I never forgot that quote. So a moment on the hips, forever on the lips. So is it worth it? A pop tart, tart, 38 grams of carbs, nine and a half teaspoons of sugar, and a bagel. This is the one that surprises a lot of people. 60 grams of carbs, 15 teaspoons of sugar. So you, you learn to choose your carbs. You know, what, what do I really want? Is this it or not? I mean, a bagel, 60 grams of carbs. I love the, I love bagels, but boy, I don't eat them anymore. Too much. I'd rather have my pants fit. Okay, moving on. So this is the eating plan, and um, you can actually find this on my website, vitalenergytips.com. That's vitalenergytips, just like it sounds. Normal spelling, vitalenergytips.com. So cutting out sugar, fruits, grains, and carbohydrates for seven days will curb your sugar cravings. Protein only means no sugar, no fruit, no juice, no grains, no beans, and no starch. Protein can be eggs, meat, fish, and hemp seeds. No potatoes, tomatoes, or yucca. And uh, we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Before noon should be protein only. So if you're making an omelet, you can you don't put your vegetables in because it actually, those are carbohydrates and it sets up you wanting to eat earlier than you do when you don't put the veggies in for breakfast. This is just the first meal of the day. Um, and you know, Dr. Uh, Roger Drummer, he always recommended and he explained why protein only first meal of the day. The easiest option is Ken's and Vital Balance meal replacement. That is what I have every day. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a, a bit. Um, you can have eggs, meat, protein, omelets, um, optionally you can have a cup of coffee or tea, but with real half and half cream, not with milk and not with the sugary creamer. That's so yummy. Real cream is low carb. It's almost no carb. It's like one gram of carb for, um, and stevia is fine too. So, and then water, you got to have water throughout the day. Lunch. Once again, you can actually have that vital balance meal replacement for breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack, you know, half, half of one for a snack when you need just a little bit more. Um, you can have it any time of the day. It doesn't mean you have four a day, but on phase one, you want to have, you're replacing two meals with the Kinzen vital balance meal replacement because it is a complete meal. It's not just a shake. You can have a creative salad put a lot of different vegetables in with lemon juice, herbs, spices, one to two teaspoons of olive oil and lemon. Um, my friend Heather that's on the call, she actually recommends to put some olive oil on, um, you know, especially raw vegetables, especially if you know that you have a thyroid issue or you suspect because uh, individuals that have a thyroid issue, from what I've been told by nutritionists, they have a really hard time losing weight if they're eating raw cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous, you can Google that and see what they are. So if you're on a, on a eating plan and you are having salads every day and you're not, not releasing any weight, you might wanna go in and have your numbers checked on your thyroid and cut out the raw crucif cruciferous vegetables. They can be cooked, just not raw. And well, some people have a hard time even with the cooked ones. Something to be aware of. Add in meat protein. I, I personally like to put on tuna salad, egg salad made with real mayonnaise, 
on my salad and I do that instead of dressing. And that's adding in my protein, hemp seeds, sunflower, pumpkin seeds. You just get really creative. I love to put in a cilantro or a parsley, you know, the different fresh herbs just really makes the flavor. And whenever you're not having the vital balance meal replacement, then you need to add in one of the uh, digestive enzymes. And Nikan has one, it's called 420. So it's really covering fats, protein, carbohydrates, and fiber. So it's every time I'm not having the meal replacement, I take a digestive enzyme. Dinner, and that's what I just explained. One digestive enzyme, whenever you are not having the Ken's and Vital Balance meal replacement. You can have seven ounces of seafood, chicken, turkey, beef. You know, have two or three eggs with vegetables. You can make soup. Once again, add protein to it. Um, and of course, the option is to have another Ken's and Vital Balance meal replacement. Snacks. You know, snacks can be the downfall for a lot of people. So it's something that I, I tend to keep at a limit because the more you have, the more you want of snacks. And so on here, uh, our great friend Barbara Bertuzzi, she makes ice cream out of the Vital Balance. So she just, uh, the recipe is on my website, vitalenergytips.com. And so she just adds ice and less um, coconut milk. She also, uh, we can also put like uh, unsweetened coconut flakes on top and toasted almonds. And just even the, uh, the can of uh, whipped cream, it's low carb. So you can even put a little dollop of that on top, just to have a little fun, because it's low carb. You can have celery or other vegetables with peanut or almond butter, um, edamame, tuna packs. Um, there's Parmesan crisps, so there's strictly just Parmesan cheese, which we really cut out dairy, but if sometimes you need just a little crispy something, um, you, you, you just take a few, you don't leave the bag out. Soup, turkey, chicken, you can have meatballs. Um, you can even have non-breaded chicken wings. So you take your body weight, you cut it in half. This is how many grams of protein your body needs every day to reduce weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you need at least 75 grams of protein a day or more. It's also the number of ounces of Pimag living water, super alkaline water your body needs every day. So that needs, means you need at least 75 ounces of water or more a day if you weigh 150. If you weigh 200 pounds, of course, that means you need 100 grams of protein and 100 ounces of water. We also like to add in Himalayan or pink salt into you, you put it on your food you can lick it it has like 65 to 85 minerals in it so it's a huge it's a great source for um, um, oh, what are they called those things that you would need that are called electrolytes that's it um, so you, you look at you put on your food and that's actually going to be really healthy for you too especially if you might wake up with uh, some cramps in the in the night or you get up to go to the bathroom too much you just might meet need a little bit of that good healthy salt so after noon all non-starchy vegetables are are okay reducing or cutting out dairy will increase your results because that kind of creates a sluggish system the cleanse and detox at capsules um, can definitely add to your success as will exercise. Phase one is replacing two meals a day with two Ken's and Vital Balance meal replacement shakes a day made with either water, unsweetened coconut milk, which is my favorite. I do that. Every shake has unsweetened coconut milk unless I'm in the car. Then I just add water or unsweetened almond milk or a combination. So unlimited, there's a lot of vegetables that are unlimited, some that I never heard of before, but there's algae, asparagus, beet greens, broccoli, the cabbages, cauliflower, celery, fiddle heads, still haven't met those yet. Hot peppers, kale, leeks, green peppers, mushrooms, onions, raw, shallots raw, sorrel, sauerkraut, Swiss chard, turnip, watercress, zucchini, alfalfa, bok choy, celery, cucumber, daikon, radish, fennel, salad, Radish, seaweed, soybean sprouts, spinach, dill pickles, lemons, pickle juice, herbs, and Himalayan sea salt. Now, to limit twice a week are the following. Eggplant, Brussels sprouts, palm hearts, wax beans, green beans, tomatoes. They just have more carbs. Phase two, same as above, just replace one protein shake for the second um, dinner protocol, either for breakfast or lunch. Anytime you have a bad eating day, the next day is a recovery day of 
back on phase one. We do have a 30 minute brainstorm Friday call on um, Friday mornings, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time. And on that call, we start off if anybody's having a challenge, they need coaching with the eating plan. And if nobody has anything on that subject, we go to whatever other subject people want to brainstorm. That's every Friday. You do have four times the success with a support and a buddy. So it's good to commit to somebody else to be buddies. In addition to weight loss, this diet is to repair and re reduce the stress on your pancreas. We recommend Nika and Whole Foods Organic Nutrition in the support of this plan with, along with the PyMag water. I recommend taking one digestive enzyme with each meal. KVB already contains your digestive enzymes, the vital balance. Additional nutritionals may be suggested. Contact your independent Nikan consultant for your personal coaching and suggestions. So on my website, I do have recipes for some of these yummy things. Uh, here we have the ice cream that Barbara is known for. Um, asparagus wrapped in prosciutto. Uh, chia seed flat belly tea. The um, recipe is here on how to make that and hydrate that because that kind of fills up your, uh, your stomach so you're not hungry. Let's see, ginger root water, it's very good for you. It also helps reduce achiness in the body. Chia seed pudding tastes just like tapioca pudding, only there's no sugar. And uh, so those are just a sample of some of the recipes I have on there, including these little egg cups that you make. So these are all, there's no carbs. This has a little bit of olives on top of it, the olive tamponade. Each little cup is nine grams of protein. Our water is really important. You're 75% water. So I always tell people, if you're going to do one thing to improve and enhance your health, you drink the proper water, the water that your body will absorb and use and will actually help you be healthier. And this system does it. It's very inexpensive. It, you just change the filter and the mineral stones. Um, whenever you need to, it could be three times a year, you need a new filter, the stones you change just once a year. And it's getting rid of all the bad stuff that's in the water, but it doesn't just leave it as dead strip water, it actually adds back the life, the healthy minerals and uh, balance the pH, you know, like things that would happen in a mountain stream and a waterfall, this does, and there's no electricity. It doesn't have any BPAs, uh, there's no concerns about chemicals, it's recyclable, it's good for the environment, and it, you're not wasting all that plastic that ends up in our ocean. So it's economical and it is the best water for your cells. So you want half of your body weight in ounces of this water every day. So this is the, actually the Nikens Kinzen Organic Based Weight Management Program. So we have the Vital Balance Meal Replacement Shakes, because you're going to need two of those. Nikan actually put them in a pack, and you save money whenever Nikan puts things in packs, and you have it on auto ship. So the auto ship can be every month, every other month, every three months, or every six months. On this, you're probably going to want it every month, because uh, unless you only have three pounds to lose or five pounds to lose, then... Um, but the meal replacement, it's also for everybody just to get good nutrition in your body every day. And I could do a whole 30-minute talk just on the ingredients that are on the, in the Vital Balance and in the Cleanse and Detox and in the Digestion and the 10-4. There's so many amazing ingredients. I'm just thrilled that Nick can put them all together for us and we have a pack. So you can't, you cleanse, you balance, and you energize. Why organic? Per USDA, organically produced foods do not contain antibiotics, artificial growth hormones, high fructose corn syrup, artificial dyes, artificial sweeteners from chemicals, synthetically engineered proteins and ingredients, sewage sludge, or irradi irradiation. So the ways to this is to success, cleanse, detox, flush out those toxins. I love that cleanse and detox. I've noticed I was getting some of that hormone acne that happens after a certain age. Well, it happens, I think, at all ages. It happens when you're young, and then it happens when it's you're older. Within a week of being on the cleanse and detox, wow, that wasn't happening anymore. That was a very fascinating and very grateful 
coincidence that happened with the cleanse and detox. I also have other friends that were waking up, women that were waking up hot at night or they just start to perspire. And um, power surges, they call them. And the, a lot of my friends have noticed as long as they're on that product, wow, that doesn't seem to be happening anymore. Great product. Love it, love it, love it. Balance. Stabilize your appetite and burn fat. Energize. Increase metabolism. Exercise and sleep. Sleep is so important. So three simple steps. Cleanse. Drink plenty of water. Eliminate toxic foods. Consume more green, leafy vegetables and other high fiber foods. Balance. Reduce carbs to about, okay, 30 to 50 grams daily. Eat protein in the form of seafood legumes, lean meats, and avoid saturated fats. It is important to um, really watch your fats as you're releasing fat. You don't really want to add in a lot of extra un yeah, unnecessary fat, I guess is a good way of saying it. Energize. Keep healthy, organic, whole food snacks and drinks on hand. You got to plan ahead. In fact, the meal replacement, I have one of the blender cups from Nikan. I have two scoops of it in my car all the time. So if I'm out and about, I can always add water to it and I'm ready to go. So if I'm doing that, it's usually just eight ounces of water. When I make my um, meal replacement in the morning, I use two cups of unsweetened coconut milk because that fills me up more. Eight ounces isn't, isn't enough for a meal for me. I need, I need more. So I use two cups of the unsweetened coconut milk. Energize. Keep healthy, organic, whole food snacks and drinks on hand. Get enough sleep. Exercise daily for at least 30 minutes. Exercise is important. Get out and get a little sunshine. Or I've been told you need five minutes of sun on the back of your knees every day, which means you have to be moving. In the weight management pack, we have the cleanse and detox product that I was just talking about. Designed to help enhance the three major functions of the liver helps cleanse, which is the process of destroying toxins that come from waste produced by the body. Helps metabolize carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, as well as produce coagulation factors in bile secretion. Helps store fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, K, and E, in addition to glycogen to make energy available in the form of sugar when the body needs it. Kins and Digestion Complex 420, composed of four blends that support the digestion of all food groups, carbs, fats, proteins, and fiber. Contains 20 natural ingredients, including amino acids, proteins, vegetable fiber-based, and cellulose-based enzyme. No animal products. Aids in the natural elimination of waste without stimulants or laxatives. And remember, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. That thing that we see on anything that has to do with food is right there. Food is important to eat, though. Ken's and Vital Balance Meal Replacement Mix helps promote lean muscle formation with only 125 calories per serving of all vegetable protein from organic pea, organic rice, and an organic chlorella. Medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, serve as brain food to support cognitive sharpness and to help burn fat, boost metabolism, and regulate the appetite. Made with zero calorie monk fruit, a natural sweetener, and no added salt, sugar, artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. This is actually a negative one carbohydrate. I didn't know that was possible, but that's the benefit of these ingredients mixed together. It's, it is a perfect meal replacement. I am, it makes you happier too. I notice if I don't take it, I just feel not as happy, just a little off. He, these are our snack bars, whole food snack bars in three delicious flavors, each with only three to four organic ingredients, depending on the flavor. Seriously, only three or four ingredients. There are no fillers, chemicals, artificial additives, or sweeteners commonly found in other brands. Provides quick energy from organic whole fruit and protein with healthy fat from almonds or walnuts. 16 to 20 grams of car complex carbs to help you feel full. My tip, cut each paleo bar into six bites. Each paleo bar is only two to three grams of carbs. Two to three, two paleo bites satisfy your treat craving and will keep you on track for your weight loss goal. So that's my tip, paleo bite. Cut them in six pieces, 
only eat two at a time, you get that nice, yummy, chewing sensation. It's so satisfying, and you are not getting all of the carbs at once. So I, I you know, I might just have one or two bites a day, actually, of these. Because, uh, but it's so much better than other things that, like a piece of chocolate. Because then it's gonna, you're going to want more chocolate. So you really want to commit to your plan. And those paleo bites are awesome to support just that needing that little chewing happiness. Hands and 10 for energy drink mix, nature's own energy drink made with organic matcha green tea and New Zealand kiwi fruit at, fruit at only eight calories per serving. Kiwi actually has serotonin, which is uplifting for your mood. And that's another great, you know, it makes you happy too. 80 milligrams of natural caffeine from organic matcha green tea help boost metabolism and energy without jitteriness. We don't want jitteriness. This is alkaline caffeine. No added sugar. It tastes good. They actually had sugar in it before because they thought we wanted it. And I like it now without the sugar. It's just, it's a more of a smooth taste. No artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, all commonly found in other brands. Suggested meal plan. Well, I, I had laid those out, but you know, people, some people are visual. So breakfast, digestion, actually you're, you're doing your vital balance. You don't need the digestion then. You do, I start off my day with three cleanse and detox. First thing in the morning with a big glass of water. They say to do it 20 minutes before every meal. I can't commit to that. <laughs> so I found out it will work just as good if you do all three at once, as long as you can get them in your body. So breakfast, you start off with that first. You wait 20 minutes, then you can have your vital balance, meal replacement, at least two cups of, uh, you know, whether it's unsweetened coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk, whatever you like. Just make sure it's unsweetened. Or you can have eggs. Uh, Mid-morning snack, paleo bite, one or two bites. Um, almonds, you want to limit. Um, apples are not on our plan, but they are lower carb out of the fruits. And you can have a 10 four. I like to have the 10 four before I go to the gym. Um, then for lunch, we have the digestion complex, have another KVB, and a salad. You know, we are not limiting how much food you eat. In fact, remember, you need half of your body weight in grams of protein a day or more, and half of your body weight in ounces of water a day, good alkaline water, or more. Or not less, or more. And then we have uh, lunch. Let's see. Oh, we also have, we can have beef, chicken. Well, I just talked about that. So moving right along, once again, you can have another snack. Dinner is what I actually shared with you earlier. Um, you can have as many vegetables as you want. Um, crab has a lot of protein and it's really good for you. And I, I absolutely love crab. I live in Florida and uh, lucky to have seafood. Fat has three times as many calories as protein or complex carbs. So when putting together your meals, make sure you have lots of vegetables, lean protein, and only small amounts of fat. Good point. Healthy food combinations. Warm Soft boiled eggs topped with mustard and Himalayan salt, or you can make deviled eggs. Avocado and leafy greens with hard boiled eggs. Chicken tenders with cayenne and asparagus. Scrambled eggs with feta cheese. The real feta cheese is made from sheep's milk, not the ones that are already crumbled, that comes from a cow. Spaghetti squash with stir fried meats and vegetables. This is my favorite new find is spaghetti squash because you can just put anything on it. It's low carb. I like it better than the old traditional spaghetti. It's just, uh, there's so many adventures you can have with spaghetti squash. And if you have a pressure cooker, you put a cup of water in, you slice it in half, you take out the seeds, 12 minutes, it's cooked. I'm just so thrilled with my pressure cooker because uh, you don't have to plan as far ahead. Salmon and broccoli, a cob salad, meatloaf with no breadcrumbs, mashed cauliflower with butter, roast turkey, mashed butternut squash, broccoli, homemade soups with butternut squash, rutabaga, chicken, herbs. Start having an adventure in food. And you will start having more fun and add some, add some herbs to it too. So here is the Everyday Weight Management Program. It comes with a Vital Balance meal replacement, both in vanilla and chocolate. Each container has 30 meals. And you are not spending more money on this. If you're having one meal a day, that's 30 meals. 
it's like you went to the grocery store if you're having like three meals a day plus snacks. That's like, okay, we'll say we're having four meals a day. That's one week of going to the grocery store. And this meal replacement shake normally by itself is $85. On our customer auto ship program, you get 25% off. So it ends up being like $65, $66. For a week of organic food that is super healthy for your whole body and your brain, helps the cognitive function. It's just so healthy for you. So you're replacing what you'd be spending at the grocery store and more probably with this. Um, you get, you can pick what paleo bars you want. My very favorite are the berry cherry. They are so phenomenal. My second favorite is the tropical fruit. And then we have the chocolate nut. It's not my favorite. Other people love it. It's just not mine. Um, the cleanse and detox. You get a, a, a month supply of that, a month supply of the digestion, and the 30 of the energy, 10-4. So they put it all together and the savings is quite phenomenal. So find out about that because I'm all about a good deal. And this is a good healthy deal that's going to get your body where you want it to be. You're gonna have more energy, you're gonna be happier. You could just be unveiling a whole new you. How exciting. Nick and Kenzen Wellness Organic Based Weight Management Program, Active Wellness for Life. It's not a temporary weight loss program. Taking steps in the right direction. We're going up. Every day will help make all the difference. I'm so grateful to Niken for creating this program. I was looking for the perfect meal replacement for years because all of them had soy or whey or sucralose or all of these unhealthy ingredients, and that's not what I wanted to put in my body. And I wanted it to taste good. I, so the first time I had the meal replacement and I drank it, I'm like, oh, thank you. It tastes good. I'm so grateful. So this is the eating plan I've used. And if you want to find out more, investigate it, find out, but do yourself a favor and try it. Try it for 30 days. Try it seven days at a time. And I want to hear your results. So thank you for sharing and thank you for watching.